Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 7, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's class focuses on learning many-to-many -many relationships. We've seen how one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships work in previous classes. Today we'll focus on many-to-many, -many, which is a little bit more difficult. We'll begin by learning about the wrong way to set up a many-to-many -many relationship using the lookup wizard that Access has directly in the tables. You're going to learn the wrong way first to get a better appreciation for how to set up many-to-many -many relationships the right way. We'll learn the right way to set up many-to-many -many relationships with a couple of different examples. We'll start by creating a relationship between groups and customers. Multiple customers can be in a group and multiple groups can belong to a single customer. We'll learn about something called a junction table, which bridges the gap between two other tables. We'll build a series of forms so you can see each of your customers and what groups they belong to, and each of your groups and which customers are in that group. We'll then make a letter that you can send out by selecting multiple groups. So you can send the letter to everyone in your hardware, software, and training groups. We'll also learn how to manage duplicate values. By popular request, we'll see how to format a report to print postcards. We'll learn some new manual report formatting techniques. And finally, we'll go through a second example of a many-to-many -many relationship relating vendors to products, where each vendor can provide multiple products, and each product can be purchased from multiple vendors. We'll set up a unit cost for each vendor for each product so you can compare prices and purchase from the cheapest vendor. This class follows Access Expert Level 6. It's strongly recommended that you watch Level 6 in all the previous classes before proceeding with today's class. In Level 6, we design the letter writer form and tables that are used in today's class. Level 6 covers sending mass mail, collection letters, letters to customers by category, and lots more. To purchase a copy of Level 6, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. This course was designed to be used with Access 2013. However, if you're using Access 2010 or 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as all three versions are pretty similar. If you do happen to come across something that doesn't work with 2007 or 2010, please send me an email or post in the forums and let me know. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should still be able to follow along with this class. The material on relationships really hasn't changed since the earliest versions of Access. Now I have decided to include this material earlier in my course than I did the last time I recorded this Access series back for Access 2003. Previously, I covered this material in my advanced class, Access 309. So if you want to use the 2003 version, that's the course you'll have to get. However, give this class a try first. You should be able to follow along with 2003 or earlier. Of course, if you have any problems or questions, please feel free to let me know. You are strongly encouraged to build the database that I build in class. It's the best way to learn. However, if you're lazy like me, go ahead and download it from my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups, beginner, expert, advanced, and developer. The beginner lessons are designed to give you a basic overview of the simple features of Access. The expert series, the one you're in now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. The advanced lessons cover working with macros, automation, and many more advanced features. And the developer lessons get into programming with Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. Each of the series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. The beginner series, for example, had levels 1 through 9. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, 
learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to see how to set up lookup values directly in tables, both single value lookups and multiple value lookups, and we're going to learn why you should not do this. In Lesson 2, we're going to learn the proper way to set up a many-to-many -many relationship between customers and groups using a junction table. In Lesson 2, we learn how to view what groups a customer was in. Now in Lesson 3, we'll learn how to open up a group and see which customers are in that group. Now that we have our group set up and we have our customers assigned to groups, in Lesson 4, we're going to create a subform on our letter form so we can generate letters to the selected groups. In Lesson 5, we're going to learn some new manual report design techniques and generate postcards. In Lesson 6, we're going to see another example of a many-to-many -many relationship with vendors to products, where each vendor will sell you multiple products, and each product can be purchased from multiple vendors.